Smart Culture, Science. Let's explore how carbon dioxide, a common gas in our atmosphere, can extinguish a flame. This simple but exciting reaction not only showcases a very important chemical process, but it also illustrates an important fire safety principle. So let's get started by looking at the materials we need. For this experiment, you will need gloves. Let's put that on. You will need safety goggles. This is, of course, very important. You will need a measuring cylinder. You will need matches. You can use a lighter as well. That will be fine. You need a spatula. It looks like a spoon. You will see it's made of stainless steel. Then you also need a candle. You need to have a beaker with water. You'll see that here we have 75 milliliters of water. You'll need an Erlenmeyer flask with a stopper. It's very important that you have the stopper. Then you need acetic acid. And then let's take a look at the last chemical that we need, sodium bicarbonate. So here we have all the materials. So let's set up the experiment. So first you can get your Erlenmeyer flask ready and add the 75 milliliters of water into the Erlenmeyer flask. Try not to spill. The next thing that we do is we add the acetic acid. But before we add it, we need to measure exactly 10 milliliters using the measuring cylinder. So let's do that. You can pour it, try not to spill. So let's see, do we have 10 milliliters? No, not yet. Let's add a little bit more. Now we have too much. So you have to adjust it until you get exactly 10 milliliters. Now that we have 10 milliliters measured out in our measuring cylinder, we can now add it to the Erlenmeyer flask that is filled with water. So take note of the reaction happening. Do you see? You can see that it's reacting. Now the next thing that we'll do is we will get the stopper ready, we will get the candle ready, the matches ready, because the next part of the experiment happens really fast. So let's get everything out of the way. Let's get the sodium bicarbonate ready. So what we'll do is we'll measure out half a spatula of sodium bicarbonate so we can get that ready. And then you can hold the stopper close by because as soon as you add the sodium bicarbonate, you have to add the stopper directly after that. Otherwise, some of the carbon dioxide will escape. And we need as much of the carbon dioxide as possible. So let's light the candle so long. Let's add our half a spatula of sodium bicarbonate into the Erlenmeyer flask that is filled with acetic acid and water. Now remember to have your stopper ready. So we'll add this and then we'll close it directly after that. Take a look at this. Now we pour it over the candle and the carbon dioxide extinguishes the candle. Can you see the effervescence? Now this is the release of carbon dioxide which bubbles as a gas from the liquid. <laughs> 